Hi, I'm Carrie Mulligan and we're here at the Meet and Greet for Skylight. I'm very, I mean, this is not PR. I'm really proud to be bringing this play to New York. I'm very uh, gratified that uh, having revived it in London and then to be uh, propelled across the Atlantic, it's a big deal. And it's, uh, I feel, you know, it's, I think, uh, one of the greatest plays in the English language, and I uh, and it's funny. I always like to t just remind people that you get to laugh. Nobody suffers watching this play, um, and it's a little bit sad. And it also unlocks something universal, which uh, I hope gives brings hope. It gives you hope by the end of it. it it's uplifting. I play Kira. She's a school teacher, and um, she used to live in a very different world in the world that Bill Nye's character inhabits. Um, and she's sort of found her calling in her teaching and she's very passionate about the work that she does and um, lives, I think, quite a sort of solitary life but a very kind of focused one and she's got um, very strong beliefs and, um, and, yeah, and she sort of lives an almost monastic lifestyle. My character is called Tom Sargent. He's extremely successful. He's made a lot of money, uh, but it's not working. And he comes to uh, to visit Kerry Mulligan's uh, character in order to uh, try and resolve his life, and uh, uh, and it's a conversation that takes place over one night. I play um, Edward Sargent. He's um, Tom Sargent's son. That's uh, Bill Nye's character, and uh, Kerry's character was a huge part of our family lives for many years. She was actually having an affair with my father for many years and um, then one day she just disappeared. So at the beginning of the play I turn up at her flat and say pretty much, well ask her many questions, I hound her essentially saying you know well, where have you been? Why do you think it's okay for you to just disappear one day like this? And then um, and then I leave and then Bill turns up and hounds her for an hour. So poor Kerry has to sit there and deal with these two infuriating men storming around her apartment. From what I'm told, the audience tend to, they go, they, they sort of bounce between one character and the other. They go, yeah, 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 oh yeah. And then they go, no, 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 yeah, yeah. They go, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, oh, you know. It's like that, not quite like that, but you know what I mean. And uh, so, you know, they, they swing from side to side. Um, and, uh, and eventually, I hope that all it, all it uh, you know, that, that they would come to the realization or the conclusion that actually, you know, who cares who's right? Who cares who's winning? Who cares, you know? We, you know, it's tough being alive, and why don't we just, you know, look after one another or something vague? Um, anyway, it's a, it's a great play, and, it, and nobody suffers.